Hey guys, and welcome back. So today we are going to be watching Game of Thrones season four, episode one. And this next episode is called Two Swords. And I'm so excited. I can't believe I'm starting with season four today. Apparently one of the fan favorite seasons. Very excited to get into it and see what's going to happen. Firstly, I'm very excited to see if there's still going to be any sort of war happening now that Rob is dead and all of his bannermen are dead and everybody's just basically dead. So fun. Love that episode so much. It was great. But yeah, I'm wondering if maybe things are going to be a lot calmer now, you know, because maybe the war is over. The Lannisters have won as always. What a shock. So yeah, I'm really curious to see what's going to happen on that front. And I'm also just excited to catch up with all of our characters. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'm so excited for Jamie and Cersei and their reunion and seeing what that's going to be like. I really started to like Jamie. That's an issue. Like, I don't know how that happened, but now I am looking forward to his scene. So that's crazy. That's one crazy thing that's gonna be happening this season around. And I'm also just really looking forward to Danny's scenes. Like maybe she will take over Rob's role with the whole war, right? Cause her dragons are probably still kind of young, like maybe teenagers at this point. So she wouldn't be able to take down the entire Westeros the same way her ancestors did. But maybe she could start launching smaller assaults on Westeros and wait for her dragons to like really grow up before she actually goes for the throne. I mean, now she has so many soldiers. People are revering her like a god. I think she has enough money to buy a bunch of ships now. So I'm very much looking forward to see what she's going to do this season around. And yeah, I'm excited for all the other characters as well. If I went through all of them, we'd be here all day. So instead of that, I'm just going to let you guys know that I do have a Patreon where you can watch the full unedited reaction to this. So if that's something you would find interesting, the link to that will be in the description down below. And now let's just get into the episode. Wolf's head. Oh my god, what is this? I hate it already. Why is that a cold open? That's never a good sign. <gasps> oh my god, is that Rob's sword? Dude, that was a cool entrance. It scared me. Oh my god, Jamie! You look great! Where did you get this much Valyrian steel? From someone who no longer had need of it. <sighs> Was it Rob? Was that the someone? You'll have to train your left hand. And a decent swordsman knows how to use both hands. They'll never be as good. No, but as long as I'm better than everyone else, I suppose it doesn't matter. Okay, he's confident in back. The king's got all this for life. The war is over, the king is safe. The king is never safe. How many people in this city alone would love to see his head on a pike? Other knights protected the king while you were a prisoner. They will continue to do so when you go home. Home? You'll return to Castle Rock. Oh, he gets his heir back. Doesn't have to give anything to Tyrion. There is a precedent to relieve the king's guard of his duties. The king will exercise that prerogative. No. No. I don't believe I asked you a question. There's my answer. If you think your bloody honor comes before My bloody honor is beyond repair. But my answer is still no. I don't want Castle Rock. I don't want a wife. I don't want children. What do you want? Cersei? Also, bitch, you have three kids. You read the sigils? <laughs> Yellow balls? Wild lemons in a purple field. House dolt of lemon wood. I need a sigil. And House Martell, a red sun pierced by a spear. I don't see it, Manon. So what does that mean for us? I don't see Prince Doran in your company. The prince's health forces him to remain at Sunspear. He sends his brother, <laughs> Prince Oberyn, to attend the royal wedding instead. The royal wedding? Oh my goodness, is it happening? Where is Prince Oberyn? Arrived before dawn. Not a man for welcome parties, our prince. Damn, already like the guy. Petro Pascal! Oh my god, yes! So excited for him. Which way do you like it? My way. Oh my goodness. I don't see many Lannisters where I'm from. I don't see many Dornish men in the capital. You don't like the um, smell? Is this gonna end in bloodshed? Why are you wasting a woman like this on a Dornishman? Bring him a shaved goat and a bottle of olive oil. Uh-oh. <laughs> You're dead, man. You're not a golden lion. You're just a pink little man who's far too slow on the draw. <laughs> oh shit. Get fucked, dude. <laughs> 
dog. When I pull my blade, your friend starts bleeding quite a lot, I'm afraid. So many veins in the wrist. Ah! Oh my god, he's a doctor too. Prince Herbert, forgive the intrusion. We heard that my teeth. Ah! Ah! Oh no, great timing, Tyrion. If there's anything I can do to make your stay at King's well, What are you, his hired killer? I started that way, I. Now I'm a knight. How did that come to pass? Killed the right people, I suppose. I fucking love Bronn so much. The last time I was in the capital was many years ago. Another wedding. My sister Elia and Rhaegar Targaryen, the last dragon. Damn, what the fuck? My sister loved him. She bore his children, swaddled them, rocked them, fed them at her own breast. Elia wouldn't let the wet nurse touch them. And then the Lannisters killed them all, huh? And beautiful, noble Rhaegar Targaryen left her for another woman. Oh. That started a war, and the war ended right here. And your father's army took the city. Was it actually? They butchered those children. My nephew and niece carved them up and wrapped them in Lannister cloaks. Yeah, you know what? His hatred of the Lannisters now makes so much sense. And my sister, you know what they did to her? I'm asking you a question. I've heard rumors. <laughs> the one I keep hearing is that Gregor Clegane, the mountain, raped Elia and split her in half with his great sword. Yeah, that is something I could see him do. Tell your father I'm here. And tell him the Lannisters are the only ones who pay their debts. Oh god, oh, oh god, this is gonna get so messy. You just know it. I'm kind of on Pedro Pascal's side though. Like, no offense, but he's a god. So is Charles Dance though. So like, mm, it's a conundrum. <laughs> Dude, the third dragons keep growing so much between seasons. Uh oh. Um, is she gonna lose control over them? Dragons, Khaleesi. They could never be tamed. Not even by their mother. That's a little concerning. What's the prize to winning this stupid contest? The honor of riding by your side on the road to Marine. That honor goes to Sir Jorah and Sir Barris. Who is this guy? Did they replace the actor? Is this the Red Sons guy or what? The last man holding his sword can find a new queen to fight for. Oh. Immediately. They're so loyal. Are you okay? Oh, she's still grieving. Not me forgetting her entire family is dead. I lie awake all night, staring at the canopy. Thinking about how they died. God, don't do that. Do you know what they did to my brother? Yeah. How they sewed his dial's head onto his body. I had the fortune of seeing that. Your mother, on the other hand, I admired her. She wanted to have me executed, but I admired her. She was a strong woman, and she was fierce when it came to protecting her children. She really was. And she had to watch one of them die right in front of her. They don't pray anymore. It's the only place I can go where people don't talk to me. I don't feel well, man. God, this poor girl. She's been through so much and she's so young. I don't like this. Have you forgotten me? Do you know how long it's been? Of course I haven't forgotten. I want you. Don't you want me? Not right now. My nephew the king wants to murder me. My wife hates me because my father murdered her family. Oberyn Martell wants to murder everyone whose last name is Lannister. You need to relax. Yeah, I don't can. What's wrong? I told you, it's not a good time. It's never a good time. You have your child bride now. Shay. You tried to ship me away. Ship you away. Was that him? Give me diamonds and make me disappear. What in the world are you talking about? Yeah, no, that wasn't him. You want me to stay? Oh God, does he not? Oh, for fuck's sake. Who are you? Oh. God, oh God, no Shay, he's done that. Yeah, how does that feel? A hook would be more practical. Elegant, I think. <laughs> Is he trying to become Captain Hook? Thank you for your help with the other matter. The symptoms have abated? Gone completely. I'm in your debt, Maester Kyburn. Not a maester, your grace, but happy to help. What's going on with her? Whenever I can. <laughs> Why is he so funny, his little wave? What symptoms? <laughs> Symptoms that are not your concern. Can they be my concern? I'm very nosy. I'm not sure I've ever smelled a dead cat. Oh, they smell like Pytel. Drink more than you used to. Yes. Why? Mm, let's see. My husband died in a tragic hunting accident. It must have been traumatic for you. My only daughter was shipped off to dawn. Staying in the King's Guard means I live right here. Oh, I want to take it back. I don't want to see that reunion anymore. Not now. I want. Not now. When? Of 
been back for weeks. What's going on with her? I murdered people so I could be here with you. It took too long. I... What do you mean by that? What are you saying? I'm saying you took too long. Go away! They're, they're broken up? I thought they were true love. You told me to come at once if there was anything important. God, this fucking snitch. You said you put three arrows in him. Yeah, I did. I've seen you slip a shaft through a rabbit's eye at 200 yards. If that boy's still walking, it's because you let him go. She definitely did. And we appreciate that. Thanks. Oh, shit. Reinforcements are here. Took a detour. Got some supper from a village down that way. Why does the meat down here taste so much better than it does on our side of the wall? I don't know, man, but you're creeping me the fuck out. Maybe everything's just better fed down here. Fat and lazy. Oh god, is it people? Are they gonna eat people? She yours. I'm not anybody's. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Too scrawny. Thank God. You really ought to try, crow. I'm good. I think suddenly I just became vegetarian. It was better than me at everything. Fighting and. Hunting and dying. So you admit you murdered Corin Hoffman? Yeah, I mean, that was the plan. He wanted it too. I didn't murder him. You put your sword through a brother of the Night's Watch. What do you call that? Killing, not murdering. Bastard son of a traitor. What would you expect? The Hoffman believed our only chance to stop Mance was to get a man inside his army. He even talks like a wildling now. No, I talk like a wildling. I ate with the wildlings. I climbed the wall with the wildlings. I slept with them as well. I embedded myself very deep. I lay with a wildling girl. You admit to breaking your vows then? This motherfucker needs to stop cherry picking what he's saying. The boy must die. If we beheaded every ranger who lay with a girl, the wall would be manned by headless men. There's <laughs> a difference between sneaking off to the Molestown brothel and sleeping with the enemy. Mance Raider marches on the wall with an army of a hundred thousand. Impossible. You can't get fifty wildlings together before they start killing each other. One hundred thousand is united the Thens, the Hornfoots, the Ice River clans. The S giants fighting for it. Giants. Shut the fuck up, man. Can we behead him? He's pissing me off. I commanded the city watch of King's Landing, boy. And now you're here. Oh, right. Is this the baby killer? Oh, double killing for him. Your grandfather gave me a necklace, just like this one. My 51st name day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the wedding is in a fortnight, grandmother. You can't say no I to- I love her. Perhaps I should just let Joffrey choose it for me. End up with a string of dead sparrow heads around my neck. You watch that. Even here. Even with me. My word. My lady, my lady, please pardon me for interrupting. My name is Brienne of Tarth. We know who you are. I... We've heard all about you. But... Is she going to work for them now? A shadow. A shadow with the face of Stannis Baratheon. Oh my god, right. They know each other. I forgot. One day, my lady, I will avenge our king. Joffrey is our king now. Yeah, yes. I meant no offense. And you've given none. She's like, I secretly agree. I just cannot vocalize it because everything has an ear here. All the king's got yeah, all right. of course. So Boris... This is so fucking pompous. And as if he had anything to do with that. They know I saved the city. They know I won the war. The war's not won, but while Stannis lives. I broke Stannis on the Blackwater. It's a pity you weren't there to help, Uncle. My apologies, Your Grace. I was rather busy. Busy getting captured. Oh man, as if you weren't busy running away like a little coward. Someone forgot to write down all your great deeds. There's still time. Is there? For a 40 year old knight with one hand? That's your father you're talking to. Show some respect. You were told to ride at the back of the train. But I need to speak to you about something important mm. a matter of strategy. Oh, right, right, right. Your strategy on how to get into her pants? All right, what is this matter of strategy? What did I say? Dusk grows tea eases fever. Everyone in Marine knows that, especially the slaves who have to make the tea. If you want them to follow you, you have to become a part of their world. Strategy. That's a fair point. Your Grace. I love how everybody's in love with her. I mean, it's just so fair. Who is she gonna choose? Anyone? Oh my 
god, what the fuck is this, man? Oh, it's showing us the way! How nice! There's one on every mile marker between here and Marine. How many miles are there between here and Marine? 163, your grace. I'll tell our men to ride ahead and bury them. You will do no such thing. I will see each and every one of their faces. So you can avenge them? You made a promise. To return the Star Girls to their mother, who is now dead. To keep them safe. What do you want me to do? Kidnap my sister-in-law and, and take her where? Where will she be safer than here? Look me in the eye and tell me that you think she'll be safe in King's Landing. Oh, he can't lie to her. I'm sorry, who was that? Oh god, is she gonna get grabbed? I'm so scared. Who's following her? <gasps> it, it, it's all right. It's, it's all right. Are you drunk? Who are you? You're drunk. I have good reason to be. Which is? Once I was a knight, and now I'm only a fool. <gasps> oh, this is the guy whose life she saved, back in season two. I may be a fool, but I'm a living fool, thanks to you. Anyone would have done the same. <laughs> yeah, they really wouldn't have. I can never repay you. You gave me my life. But this... That's so sweet. ...is worth more than my life. It belongs to my mother and... Her mother before. Us Hollard was strong once. That's all that's left of those days. Thanks to a few sad, fat drunks like me. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. I don't have anything else left. Take it. Wear it. Let my name have one more moment in the sun before it disappears from the world. Oh, this is gonna make me cry. I'll wear it with pride, so don't us. Oh, this is such a lovely scene. And here I thought they were gonna kill her too. Oh, my favorite father-daughter duo. When am I going to get a horse of my own? Little lady wants a pony. The little lady wants away from your stench. Horses aren't easy to come by. Why don't you have any money? Didn't you steal anything from Joffrey before you left? No. Damn, that was stupid of you. You're not very smart, are you? I'm not a thief. I fucking love them. I'm just a murderer, Arya. Like, excuse you. How do you try and call me a thief? You think I'm gonna escape? Where would I go? Exactly. I'd be dead by nightfall without you. My family's gone. I've got no one. You've got an aunt in the veil. God, this is so sad. A rich Aunt Lysa. After I sell you to her, maybe she'll have enough left over to buy you that pony you want so much. Oh, God, not for Lysa. She's a freak. I don't think she would pay any money for Arya. I know him. He captured us and took us to Harrenhal. <gasps> oh, oh, we gotta kill them. He killed Lommy. What the fuck's a Lommy? He was my friend. Oliver stole my sword and put it right through his neck. Oh, are we gonna be able to get Needle back? We still got it. Oh, horn. <gasps> my sword. Yes, let's fucking go! <gasps> oh god, Arya, you're just so fucking brave. And maybe stupid. Get back! My brother gave me that sword. Get back here! <laughs> She's marching. You spend enough time putting the hammer to people, you start to feel like a carpenter making chairs. Strange the fun right out of it. And what's life about a little fun? These are the king's colors. No one's standing in his way now, which means no one's standing in ours. Oh, that's a lovely thought. Fuck the king. How <laughs> to the yeah? Oh, let's kill them all. I'm so excited. Oh, look at her little smile. You got money? Not a penny. I'll still take that chicken. Tell you what. We'll trade you. One of our little chickens for one of yours. Give us a go at your friend. You? Lowell there. Likes them a bit broken in. You're a talker. Listening to talkers makes me thirsty. And hungry. I think I'll take two chickens. You don't seem to understand the situation. Oh, I think it's you who's not understanding things. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. Now we're killing them all. Love to say it. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm scared. I'm terrified actually. Oh, I don't like this anymore. Not having fun, not having fun. Is Arya trying to do something maybe? Ooh, nice one. Okay, I guess maybe he doesn't need the help. Ah, that's rough, bud. Oh, thank you. Well, I was gonna have lunch after this, but I guess not anymore. Oh, there you go. She is becoming a proper little killer. Oh, that's that was awesome. Yeah. 
her sword. Something wrong with your leg, boy. Can you walk? I've got to carry you. Carry me? Oh, he has no idea what you're talking about. But I remember. Fine little blade. Maybe I'll pick my teeth with it. Oh, now he knows. <laughs> Jesus Christ, girl, I love you. She has liked that a little too much. That's a little concerning. Yes! She's got her horse! They're a proper team now. Oh my god, this is so good. Yes, ending. Loved it. Man, what a fun start to the season. Oh my goodness, this Hound Aria pairing is so good. I love them so much. And now she has her own horse and she's not trying to run away from him anymore. I guess they're on their way to the whale because he said that he was gonna sell her to Lisa. But like, I don't know if she wants her to be honest. She seems like not all there up in her little head so i don't know how that's gonna work and like little finger is there now as well or will be by the time they get there so i don't know how that's gonna go but for the time being i'm enjoying this pairing so much it's so so fun and a little concerning as i said aria seems to be very into killing now not sure about that that, but I love that she can hold her own and I love how vengeful she is as well like it's just such a fun characteristic for her I, it's so good I'm very much so looking forward to her meeting the people like she actually mouthed the names to I can't remember who they were exactly I think maybe one of them was the hound and she ended up becoming his friend but I would love to see what she would be like if she ever got to meet Joffrey again or Cersei or Jamie or any of the Lannisters like her little vengeful heart would go crazy and I would love to see that I'm also very excited for Pedro Pascal's story oh my god I have no idea he was in this that was such a fun little shock and surprise and his character seems super interesting like immediately I love like his hatred of the Lannisters and that he has such a good reason for hating them. I think it's gonna make his stay at King's Landing so interesting. I wonder how long he'll stay. I mean, they said that the wedding is in a fortnight, so like that's two weeks. I wonder if that's gonna be next episode then or the one after that. Usually there's more time passing between episodes than just a week, so I could potentially see the next episode be the wedding. And would Pedro Pascal stay after it's done or would he just leave? I'm not sure, but I hope he stays because he is fun and awesome and I love him and I would love to see him maybe try and bring down the Lannisters or something or maybe end up forgiving them. <laughs> Probably not that unlikely in this show, but yeah, I hope he can stay around for a while. Brienne staying at King's Landing is also very interesting. I thought maybe she would want to go after Stannis this time around because now she isn't bound to Cat anymore. I thought maybe she'd be like, oh cool, time for revenge, but not yet, I guess. Again, I also thought that she was gonna ask Marjorie if she could become her bodyguard or something along those lines, but I totally forgot that they've already met and they've known each other because she was married to Branley. Totally escaped my mind, but yeah, very excited to see her storyline. And also, I don't know, I just like her relationship with Jamie so much. Like, it's just fun to see that after everything, they're still chatting to each other and they're kind of friendly as well. I really like their conversation. And I don't know whose side I'm on, right? Because like, of course, Jamie promised to send Sansa back to Kat and maybe he would have done it if Kat was still alive. But I do feel like Jamie is right in that where are they supposed to send Sansa now, right? Like, Winterfell? It's burned down. John is at Castle Black. She doesn't have any direct relatives that are like older than her. So like, what could he do? Send her to the will, to her aunt, or maybe back to the Tullys? Because I think they did say that Cat's uncle. Yeah, I think Cat's uncle survived the Blackfish. I think he's still alive. So like, maybe we could send her to be with him. But there isn't any like sort of direct connection she has anymore. So like where is Jamie supposed to send her? I totally get where he's coming from with that. And also she's married to Tyrion now. It's not like we could just rescue her anyway. So yeah, I think for the time being, it is probably the safest for her to stay in King's Landing. Like, of course, it's not safe, 
but it is the safest option. So yeah, as I said, this is a great episode and a great start to the season. I cannot wait to see where all of this will go. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this reaction. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, a huge shout out goes out to all my Patreons for supporting me. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. I really appreciate every single one of you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I tried so hard, but all these scars, they cut so deep, I bleed. I fell so fast from heaven, it's like someone clipped my...